Um, hello, so today we are going to do um, uh, Advent of Code Day 6. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's dive in. I'm not going to read the full description, just give you the gist of the problem. So the gist is that we get a string like this. Um, and we want to identify the uh, the first position where the four most recently viewed characters were all different, right? So sort of the last position of the four characters, uh, last position where the first, the the first position where the previous four characters are distinct. So so I hope that makes sense. So the last, the first position where the four previous characters are distinct. So that's what we want to do. Um, uh, let's take a look at this example. Um, those are M. Uh, so this one is not unique because there are multiple J's. Three J's that is repeated. Um, but if we take a look at this G, P, Q, M, those are unique, right? And so what's the position where before they are all unique? So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which is this position. G this position here before it all four are unique um, so that's why we return seven um, similar thing for the last ones um, I have these examples where we know we what the value is that we can test with in um, in a file here that we can use um, and then the real input is here so let's just do this one first um, so we need input file of course we need to open the so the first one I'm going to open is example 6.txt uh, and we want to read it and then we want to get the lines right so read and then split it by new line um, and we want to go through each line and get the marker right um, so how do we get the marker index well we know we just want to check each four character four strings right we want to check here and check if there are distinct elements and then check here and check if there are distinct ones and then check here right we don't want to check like each black independently like this and then this right because that doesn't make sense because even though this one has duplicated J's this one here has duplicated J's right if we just go here here we still have duplicated J's, but if we just go here, we don't have duplicated J's anymore, even though we have a duplicated Q here. But once we go here, we don't anymore. So it more s it makes more sense to go just one index after the other, plus one each time, and then each time take the block of four, right? Because even though this is has duplicated, the next one may not, right? The next one starting from the next index may not, right? So that's the idea. Now we need to go through the range of all the indices because we are going index by index. Um, and we are, we are going to do is get the block that we are going to look at, which is just four characters starting from I. In Python, we can do it like this. Um, and then we want to check if they are all distinct. How we do, we do we do that? We can just check that if we eliminate duplicates, so if we put it in a set where we eliminate duplicates, that the length is four, right? Okay, and um, you could also check if the length is just the same as the length of block, but we know already the length of block is, should, is supposed to be four. So if this is the case, we wanna return. Remember what we wanna return is not the index, start index of the string itself, is the one right after um, where the four previous one are distinct. So that's just i plus four, right? Because this index is the start, so we can just print this. Um, yeah, I'll just move this into a function just to make it nicer. So let's just call this marker index, right? And it gets a line. And then if we find this, we just return i plus four. Okay. Um, and we could just use this to print the marker index for this line. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's run it, make sure it looks good. So Python day six. Um, so we get set seven, five, six, ten, eleven. Let's see. So seven is the first one. That's good. Five, six, ten, eleven. That's what we have here, right? So this is working properly. Um, now if we now we need to do it for this. 
input the real input so that gives us this let's just make sure it matches um, and it does right it matches the solution okay so now let's look at part two so part two um, again I'll, I won't go, go go through like all of the details but it just changes from 4 to 14 so the exact same problem except now 14 right so how do we solve that um, we'll solve it with the same example here and show you so um, so just instead of 4 we want 14 so how about we pass in the black size here let's call it um, and that's what we want to do like this we want to do like this and then for the for part 1 we want to pass 4 and then for part 2 so this would be a part 2 we want to pass um, 14 right so we want to pass 14 so let's just run that um, yeah so it's this and that that works right um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for today's problem. Uh, please share forward. Um, please like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye